the talk of the town. What's up, everybody? We are live. We are back. It is week four of Athletes Unlimited, and we have a very, very special guest host today in Cece Andrews. Everyone's been asking about you, so we are so glad that you are here with us. I'm Janae, and let's get this thing popping. Cece, I'll start off with you. What did you see in week three where you were like, oh, snap, it's getting <laughs> real coming down to this to this last week? I mean, I mean, the the intensity, the intensity. I just literally this morning because I was had a busy week and I just finished watching uh, Team Gray versus Team um, Team Tosh, mm -hmm. Team Cloud. And I mean, what a chippy game! I mean, Ray and Emily like got into it a little bit. I mean, I was like, "Wow, I thought we were friends around here." Like it, the intensity has picked up like like crazy. You can see it in everyone's face and just every, the way they get on the court, like. Everyone, I saw Mimi, you know, get two minutes, she's intense. Yeah. You know, Sam's Sam's coming in intense. I mean, it's the intensity is at an all time high. And I mean, this week is, it's, I can't imagine that it's going to be even crazier. Right. But this week is about to get hectic. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and with this week, you know, it is Champions Week presented by Baden. Um, it's, all or nothing. It's either do or die. We are about to go get this. I know you've played in this. What's that like to to come to this final week and it all come down to the wire? Yeah, I mean the final week. It's it's kind of almost I guess two levels to it. You know, so you kind of know your top. You know, you kind of know where your where your range is, like kind of your peaks and your lowest. You can go. So I think everybody's really protecting their spot. I mean, those top four, I would say right now, probably top five. I think airs right behind KB. Yep. So I know for me, somebody who knew I couldn't probably only go up maybe three to four spots, it was focusing on the captain. Like, how can we help you? We want you to get as high as you can. Um, and Alyssa was my captain last year. And unfortunately, Odyssey did get hurt, but it did give us the leeway to be like, yo, Nalissa, like, let's get let's get something right. cooking. And then she dropped that 50 ball and she right. won. You know what I mean? So yep. I really think that it's really about like, one, supporting your captain, of course, you know, you you want them to win. And then as well as you, just seeing where you're going to fit in, not taking bad shots and really like protecting where you're at at this point. For sure. Um, I guess I'll speak to KB jumping in the top four. That birthday game, she had a whole nother swagger to her. I don't know if it. 24, the Kobe year, I don't know. But she was like, I'm here. I'm about to put my name out there. And... I mean, she's been lighting it up. She's been very consistent week after week. There's a reason why she was always drafted by Odyssey. She's a great player in that regards. But I think in this week, she didn't want to be just the Bluetooth teammate. She wanted to be KB. I'm here. I'm out. Let's get this. And she did. She, yeah. I mean, KB, love, love KB. Like, what, you know, great person to have on your team, a yeah. great scorer, a great, a great teammate just in general. And I think for her, it's, I'm going to be, I don't, I don't know how her drafting is going to go. I think yeah. she was, was she, I can't remember, but I feel like she was a captain before maybe in scrimmage or something. So I think she's been a captain before last season, uh -huh. at least one, I want to say. Yep. So I'm excited to see kind of the roster she builds. I think it's going to be, she wants to build a similar roster team Sims. I think she's going to want to run. You know what I mean? I think she's going to want to push the pace. Sure. So I think her and Sims are going to be fighting over some people because right. you know how they play together. For sure. Who were some people that jumped out at you this week that was like, hmm, okay, if I if you were drafting, they'd be moving up on your draft board? Uh, I mean, here I'll give you a, a, a I'll give you a dark horse dark horse here. I mean, for me, I really like Akila. Like, I I really do. And I'll Ooh. like she she doesn't get the minutes, mm -hmm. but she's so solid. And when she gets in, you see in the blocks. You've yep. seen she can score. You've seen the rebound. So honestly, when her getting picked around like seventh round is such a steal, I, in my opinion, because she's yeah. a great backup center. She can be a starting center, I, I really believe. So AK, I think, is really one of mine. Um, I mean, and Emily, I love. So I personally would love to have her. She's, I think Emily is a first round pick. I mean, she's, yeah. they, have a, they have a tight whistle on her. I'm not going to hold you. They have a tight whistle for Emily. <laughs> they they be picking on my girl a little bit. They do. They pick on Emily just a little bit too much. But I personally would love to have Emily. I'm gonna give you one more and Ray. I'm gonna give you one more and, and give you Ray. Ray yeah. Ray is, is gonna be a high pick for me. 
I like Ray. I like Ray a lot. Emily, let's just talk about her for a second. She leads the league. This is a, it was only week three. Leads the league set a, se- a yeah season record with 24 blocks already with week three. So she is doing her thing with the tight whistle too. Imagine I don't know how many blocks she would have if she didn't have to sit with those fouls. I was saying, and I tweeted this earlier in the week, um, last week, and I said, I would love to see the stats because this season, it feels like there's been so many blocks yes. more than the past seasons. Like, I really think the girls are playing some defense, and I've seen some nasty blocks. Right. Whoa, okay, okay we have some picks coming in. <laughs> okay, so this is not a surprise. KB told nope. Cheryl and Cindy last night with if she was first pick, which she was, mm-hmm. um, she would draft Kelsey. Kelsey's her girl. Can shoot. Um, and Kelsey is really doing a lot that I don't think she really did even for the fever this year or last year. I think she is coming into her own guard, almost like Ohio State. Kelsey's coming back. Like, right? give me the ball. Yeah, no, Kelsey. I mean, like we said, Kirsten wants to push the ball and get a lot of shots up. This makes sense. Yes. Kelsey, they're gonna push the pace, they're gonna feed off of each other. Um, Kelsey's one Kelsey's one of my faves. I actually Last season, I got her shoe signed. I literally her game wore LeBron's. I have them in my room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't play. I love me some Kelsey Mitchell. Yeah, I know. Re- real fan around here. So I love Kelsey. She's a great pickup, a great teammate, great person. Um, yeah, nothing bad to say about her. Um, Tiffany, as okay, we got we got Mitchell. We got Mitchell up next. I bought it. And I think Cloud was like, oh, finally, I can have someone that. From the gold Avengers, uh, when they first started out week one, I knew mm-hmm. she was gonna start that pick off with that's them. a great pick. Two, two big guards for Izzy because Izzy's been balling out, but Tiff makes sense. Yes, that's a that's a nice big guard. Okay, perfect. Yeah, good perimeter perimeter yep. defenders as well. I, I yeah, that's a, that's a big guard lineup <laughs> to yep. start. Yep. Um, air, air, air. That's a great pick, honestly. That's a good one. They played Air. off each other so well this week. Air is so um Air, she she is and she she her home base is in LA for the offseason. So I get to play against her in leagues and whatnot. Oh, yeah. And she'd be busting me. I can't hold her. She'd be what she be what she does in AU, she does against me. But to see her grow like the past three years go up the leaderboard and like finally really get that respect from the W girls, it I'm I'm so happy for her because Air, like she's in the gym. Great for person sure. once again, great teammate. That's a bucket. That's right. a great pickup. Great Air right up. now is sitting at number five on the leaderboard, by the way, guys. So she has really earned her way um, into being a first round pick. Tasha tweeted it out last night, too, that she thinks she deserves um, a roster spot on the yes. W. And I have to agree. That girl's been hooping straight, straight hooping. She can definitely she can definitely beat some girls out of training camp. Like I put I put my money on air. Um, that's yeah, that's a, that's a good pick. A lot of buckets between them, too. Yep. We got so Team Lexi. Gray. She has two picks. So she nice. she selected Lexi Hall, which not surprised. Alicia really, really loved um playing with Lexi. So when she mm-hmm. got stolen last week or this week, she was like, dang, what am I about to do? But not yep. surprised by that. They played off each each other really well. And Alicia wants defense, and that's what Lexi brings. Defense yeah, and, and, and not offense, but really defense is her thing. And a dupe. Yeah. A dupe. Yeah. My girl. Another training camp. Another, we need another one. And she's that's another one. I didn't know much about her coming into the league. So watching her, I'm like, who? I kept looking up like who? I don't know the girl. Who is it? And I keep looking, I'm like, it's it's her. It's right. her. I mean, she yeah, I, I think she, she's she's been playing well. She can shoot, she can run. I mean, she, yeah, that that she's a bucket. She's a bucket. That's a that's a good start as well defensively. That's a good start in three. Yep. Oh, we're moving, we're moving. Yeah, they're picking Ray. okay. Woo. All right, Team Sims, she selected Ray Burrell, Team Cloud, Lonnie Brown, nice. and then KB got two picks, Sydney Colson and Emily Inks. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, I just said Ray, that's a great, another nice long defender. I love that yep. pickup. They're going to they're gonna be running. Between Odyssey, Aaron Ray, Ding Girls is going to – Track me. Wow, yeah, they're gonna, these are going to get up and down. I mean – I think Kalani, I think I said before, I think she's probably one of the best, best, if not the best center in the league. So that's a great pickup that she's so efficient. I mean, she's super, I, I don't, where is she at? Is she, she's top 10 and she's not even playing crazy minutes. So right. Kalani's, Kalani's super efficient. Um, yeah, she's number six on the leaderboard. 
and she don't, and she don't, her numbers don't blow you out the water, but you look and you're like, huh? Mm-hmm. She's six. She's efficient. She's a, and yep. she wins. We so have Sid, Sid, Sid had a great week this week. So yeah. KB picking her one Las Vegas Aces teammates. Next exactly. Week. Lady Aces. There, Lady Aces. <laughs> right. But Sid balled out 20 point game. I think she had a yep. 10 point game. Um, either the day, the game before that. Sid's been balling and proven. She's not just the the joke. It no. doesn't want to be the she, she she can play. He's been having some nasty, some hezzy, some some great passes, um, yep. some nice threes. Yep. Um, no, Sydney, Sydney's a great veteran point guard. Um, she's gonna be between her and Kelsey kind of playing off of each other. I think that's great. Yeah. With Emily now, another guard, she stays out of foul trouble. We that's a nice lineup. That's mm-hmm. a good starting guard lineup to start. Um, I would like to see Kirsten's gonna have to pick someone big in this next in nice. this next round because <laughs> you're not you're not too big. And even last week they tried to pick on Sid and post Umrea on Sid. So I was like, stop picking on my girl Sid. Like, come on. But yeah. Lexi, my girl, once again, you know, Lexi Brown, my Sparks girl over here, um, great shooter. She's each, each week she's been, she's been playing better. You know, her story's great. Finally, finally able to play basketball as well. So no, nothing bad to say about Lexi. Yep. LA, another fun one. LA, LA, LA is another fun one. I mean, obviously not, haven't seen much minutes, you know, her rookie year. Yeah. So see, again, to actually see her, her game, getting her to run up and down. I mean, another motor, like I said, these girls is running. <laughs> right, right, and LA is so versatile that she she brings the ball up maybe more than Odyssey would. Like she's like, if I'm getting the rebound, I can at least get you to half court. Like let's go. So smart yeah. pick with Odyssey again, like you said, up and down, up and down. Yep, Team Gray with Grace. Okay, I'm a surprise at that Grace pick. I am. I'm not gonna hold you. That's a, that's a surprise. I like Grace. Um, I mean, I really loved her in college. She, I love a mid range game. She's mm-hmm. strong body. She plays defense. She works hard. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I, I, th- I think Grace is great. And with the back to back Maddie pick. Okay. She's smart. Oh. I mean, Grace, Grace and Maddie have been paired up a lot. Yep. They play off each other. Well, Maddie is a straight bucket. Mm-hmm. I can't say much about her. She went to Villanova. I went to St. Joe's. So we have a lot of beef going together. So I can't praise her too much, but she's great. <laughs> I'll do it for you. I got you. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, yeah. Team Sims with the OG Ty Young. Ty was showing. Yo, yo, I gotta talk to Ty after this week because yo, Ty, she got some serum in her. She got some young serum in her because she looks even better than she did last year. I agree. She looks even better. I, I, I don't know how she's doing it, but it's showing up in the draft. I mean, another veteran team player works hard, big body, like can yeah. play multiple positions. I mean, Ty looks great out there. I, it, it's, it's great to see. Yep. Team Cloud coming in with the pick, Tiana Muldrow, who yep. I think she has been solid all around. She Another can give solid. You that inside presence. She can stretch the floor, give you those threes when you need them. She's been solid this whole AU experience, and I think that's a great pick for, for, for Natasha. Yeah, another one who I didn't know much about. And then once again, every time I'm looking up, I'm like, who, who is this? And it's mm-hmm. like, yep, she's here. So no, she's been having a great season. That's a great pick for the team. Zaya and TP. Okay, we got a little bit of size now. We still we still looking a little small, KB. She KB gonna have to play some four this week, okay? <laughs> oh my god, Zaya, let me talk about her. Mm-hmm. She's found her footing. I think yeah. after that first week, we're all like, okay, Grace is gonna go. And Zaya put in the work. I don't know what her practices have been looking like, but they've been working. Um, she's really been balling out. I'm very, very happy for her, very proud of her. Um, we had some, we had Kurt Miller in the building. We had um, the, what is her name? The LA Sparks GM come yesterday. So yeah. I was showing her like, yeah, yeah. Spark. Kurt, yeah. Yes. I, I have to shout out my girl Zaya. That's Adidas signing, you know, shout out, shout out her, um, her. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. My Adidas girl. So, you know, Zaya, I'm so happy. She's, she, like you said, after the first week had to find her foot in. Now she's like, all right, we're on go. Um, yep. I mean, that team uh, that went own three last week, I think she was on that team. So it's going to be like, she's going to be fighting this 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 week, her and, you know, Lexi to, to kind of go back up that leaderboard. Right. With um, KB, she got set in TP. She might be bringing back the the aces from the first championship. Hey, listen, she, that's what I'm saying. She clearly got the Avengers back together and said, listen, we got another championship here on the lines for me. So let's let's work it out. 
Um, yeah, no, TP's, TP's um, a great pick as well. We finally have a little bit of size in there, even though, you know, she does like to stretch off the floor. She can still defend um, yep. the post players. So, yeah, I, I like that pick. I like that pick. TP's, TP's solid. Mm-hmm. I'm really, okay, we got some starting fives. I'm looking through here. Yeah, this is, yeah, the, the, yeah, these starting five, these starting five are fun. I mean, no, it's a good, I think it's a good matchup between all five or all four teams. Yeah. They, I think by week four, you know, you kind of like know what exactly everyone does and what they do well. And so now the teams are like making more sense than what they did probably week two. Um, For sure. trying to like figure out who, who each other are. So this makes sense. It, it does. And I think and just a quick note, Kelsey Mitchell, I don't know, I don't know if we said it, but she will not be available for the final game of the season. So they'll have her for the first two yep. and I'm not after that. So expect 40 minutes <laughs> for the first two games. Right. <laughs> All right. We got some more picks coming in. Team Cloud selects Haley Jones. Yeah. Sims with Isabel Harrison. You know what? I'm surprised they're not switched. Because I thought Tasha and Izzy played well together. Very surprised. Very I'm, I'm surprised. very surprised by that. I don't know if, if it's because she already has Kalani and Tiana. Right. You know what I mean? And she wants a backup, I don't, I, maybe a backup guard on there. Yeah. So, yeah. But, that, but like you said, that is that is a little surprising because um, they, they play they play off each other very well. Yeah. Maybe they can trade. There was a trade last, last week. You're right. So right. we, well, they might they might know something that we don't know, and they're doing something on the back end here. So we'll have to see. But um, I think I think Haley's been playing pretty solid. I think she's had kind of her highs and her lows. But yeah. as a player, um, Haley's great. She understands the game um, with the minutes that she has. So yeah. I think Haley's a great pickup. You can kind of depend on her to to be solid. You know what I mean? One of those players that you can't go wrong with when you put them in the game. Let's take a look at who's left. Yeah, who do we have left here? Hopefully, maybe. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Ruthie. Okay, I'm not sure if it was the injury she went she went down with um, last night with a, like two minutes left in the game, but Ruthie was balling last night. Yes. I really yes. just finished watching. It. Yep. Yeah, she had her. I'm here moment last night for sure well when tcu was there she had to show up for her team too but <laughs> that's how it would be, that's how it be. <laughs> but last mm -hmm. night i was really really impressed with ruthie um yeah ruthie i think is a great pickup i mean like i said i think a killer at some point as it's another center is great i mean angel i think provides solid solid minutes mm -hmm. um i mean taj cole for me like she's been getting picked pretty low but i'm like taj cole comes in and gives good minutes yeah so, right She's, I think, once again, a steal. When she comes in at that eighth that eighth round, like, I think that's a steal because tables look another way. She could easily be a sixth-round pick, I, I right. believe. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think I would like to see Taj and, and Ruthie get, get picked up somewhere around here. Agreed. And there goes Angel and Sequoia. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so Alicia, back-to-back -back picks, Sequoia Holmes and Angel McCautry. Sequoia, I've just been impressed with her being able to get the minutes that she has been and using mm -hmm. them to the best of her ability. She will get her shots off. Yes. Uh, she runs the floor well. So I think that's a great pick for Alicia. Your bench is starting to get so important. I think in week four, you can probably speak more to this, but. It's important. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's very, it's very important. I mean, the, it's this week, it's, it's, it is different because it is a little, it's the, the um, season is a little bit shorter, but it's still like, you need a little bit of rest time. You need some girls to come in, especially, you know, the way some of these refs are blowing whistles. You mm -hmm. need girls to produce solid 10 minutes, five minutes, seven minutes. Like if you if you can't rely on your bench, you're in for a long three games. That right. last night, you're gonna you're gonna feel it in your legs. Um so her and Angel, I mean, Angel comes and brings great minutes. Another veteran who doesn't need to play 30 minutes a game, but if she gets 15, like she's giving you some work. Yep. It looks like all the vets are coming out. So we yep. have Essence Carson now with Team Sims. Um Essence provided great minutes this last week. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, Essence is another one. I'll shout out my girl, another LA girl. We play together on Sundays out here in LA. Um, but yeah, Essence, Essence is once again a solid veteran. She understands yep. the game of basketball. I think she was 
on the team last week that went 0 three as well. If I want to, if I remember that correctly, so she's going to be coming back this year with um, this week's live vengeance on Team Sand. I think she fits very well. She can get up and push the pace as well. So yeah, I think I think that's a great pickup for off the bench. Her 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 and Ty almost can interchange kind of those positions a little bit. Who are you liking so far? We're, we're um, almost through. We're in round. Yeah, seven. I mean. I, I really, I, I like Team Cloud right now. Mm -hmm. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. I like that Team Cloud mainly because like, I, I love Kalani. Like yeah. Kalani is great. To have her in the post is crazy. Like she could. It, it is, and it, uh, yeah, she she would be my first pick most of the time, I'm being honest, right. like I love Kalani. And we, and we can kind of move from there. So I think having that post presence of Kalani, plus Tiffany on the wing with her hands ready, plus Lexi, with her hands ready, plus Tosh slicing and dicing. Smart. Tosh was smart this pick. Eric. Yeah, that's a good one. I that's like, a good like one. Um, team, uh, team Sims, I think the starting five is a little um, – I, I, I think they're a little small, but once again, we see Odyssey likes to push the pace. Yeah. So sometimes that doesn't that doesn't really hurt you. Um, but, yeah, team, I think Team team Sims is my is, – I think is, is, my, is, my, is my next one. Yeah. I'm going to check some of these YouTube comments, but, but we'll see oh, yeah, what no, people are saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are they like? DJ11 said, Team Cloud got shooters. <laughs> Jessica wants you to know that she's your biggest fan. <laughs> Jessica That's my girl. Shout out Jess. Shout out <laughs> down on Twitter. Willie G said, KB drafting an ace, Aces type <laughs> roster. Grab yeah. Kels to push the pace and Aces teammates sit and Emily is a baller. Agreed. Team Gray looks sneaky good. Okay, okay, yep. Uh -huh, they um, said no tizzy this week. No tizzy. They they broke know, up. Tasha which is crazy. Me. Which is crazy. Um, yeah, I, I think for me the most interesting squad I want to see play is going to be Team Gray. I, I really yeah. want to see what that starting five, how they play off of each other. I think it's going to be a lot of team ball. I'll say that. I yeah. really do think they're going to get that ball moving. They're going to get to their spots. Um, so, yeah, I'm really honestly excited to see that team play together because I think – I think they have some great, some great shooters, some great scorers. Um, but I need to see it. I need to see it kind of first. All right, yeah. Okay. Two more picks coming in. So Team Cloud selected Danny McRae, Team Bell, Lauren Minty, and Ruthie Hebert, and it will show up next. But Team Cloud also selected Taya Cooper. Perfect. I yeah, think Danny Lauren, Lauren Minty provided some really great minutes. Um, this past week. I think she did exactly what her role was, exactly what the team needed her to do, especially in last game, um, yesterday's games. Yeah, Mincy, once another once again, another veteran, she's coming off of injury last year as well. So to see her this this um back this year has been great. Um I think she her she started off a little rocky, you know, she had to get her, her feet set, but like you said, last week improved improved tremendously. Um Danny is a great pickup as well, another veteran for she's this is her third season, so Another reason why she's here. She's just a great, a great presence on the court. Um, okay, Ruthie's okay. Ruthie's a great pickup. That Ruthie at, at seventh round is a great pickup. That's a that's a that's a steal. That's a steal right there. <laughs> that yeah, that's gonna be great for them because like you said, they need that pros presence. So the fact that she could get Ruthie, we could Ruthie's gonna be playing big minutes this this yeah. week is what I assume. Taya, okay, we got Taya. That's the backup point guard. I love that. I love yeah. that talking a little. Taya's there. been holding her own. When she gets and in, she does what she needs to do for sure. Man, Taya looked like she didn't miss a beat since she left. Uh, Baylor, since she left. Uh, with the Baylor, what's the last one? Well, don't want to misspeak there. Sorry, but um, yeah, Taya, Taya looks good. Taya looks very good. Team Sims, Bashara Graves, and Team Gray with Taj Cole. So smart, yeah. smart picks. Um, Team Sims add size with Bashara. Team Gray adds speed and yep. another point guard with Taj. Yeah, Taj come off the bench. Like I said, I think she's a steal. So her at seven, I think it's great to have someone back up, be able to come in, push the pace um, a little bit. I mean, her. I think her her name will come off the bench is super great. Akila, you know, I, I shouted her out. That's I think that's a steal at eight as well. <laughs> it's a yep. steal. It's another setter that you can throw in there when you need one. She'll give you good minutes. Um, I mean, Taj, Angel, and Akila off the bench is not is not a bad place to be. Not a bad place to Agreed. be. Agreed. Agreed. 
Destiny coming in, another shooter coming off the bench. Love it. My, my girl, that's my girl. We used to be having fun last season. Um, they all miss you. They all miss you. I'm telling you, you got to just show up. Yeah, Maybe it's man, I, listen, listen. listen. Now, but you got to you know, show up. Loki, we said, AU, I'm going to put it out there. They said you, you should fly me out so I can present my award this year. I want it back to back. And I don't know who's going to win this year, but I would love to present it. So if you hear me, AU, Find me out last day. I would love to present the award this weekend. <laughs> it basically has my name on it. It basically has my name on it. So, just saying. <laughs> oh my I miss my girls too, though. Okay, we got <laughs> Sam coming in. Sam's been great. Um, Tosh loves her. Once again, good minutes. Um, yep. when when she's coming in, great teammate as well. Another another LA girly out here too. She's so athletic. Last night, I was like, oh, she's about to dunk. Like no, she was yeah. at the rim. Like no, no, I feel like low key she, she can. Like I, she's definitely grabbing rim. If, if anything, Sam right. super like jump on your back. One of those players. Um, Beck Harris, another solid. She's always talking in the huddles. Um, yep. with the minutes that she yeah, she's aggressive, and I love that's the thing I like about Becca is she's aggressive. Like she doesn't mm -hmm. care if she comes in and she's taking it down your throat. Mimi shooter. Oh, you know, KB and Mimi are like this. So of course, yep. oh, of course. <laughs> yep. And that makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> they must have so much fun this week. Yep, another shooter. Dory, Dory. Harrison. Oh, okay, she, she got a Harrison. She got one of them. <laughs> Man, okay, that's okay. You got, got one of them. Okay, you right. maybe there might be. Once again, we still got a trade. They, You're maybe right. Last week they might trade Destiny and, and Harrison or something. We'll yep. see. Perfect, Whitney. Whitney. Knight. Yep. Um, Florida Golf Coach shot them. Um. And Kalia, perfectly to round it out. Okay, yep. okay, okay. All right. Teams are set for week four. Last week, best week. After looking at these teams, CC, who do you have taken home? Who do you think could go undefeated? We've had some undefeated teams. Yeah. Who do you see? Sheesh. If I'm being honest, man, I don't know if I see one. I don't, I don't know. I think close, I don't. This week, I think if it's anyone, it would be. It would maybe be Tosh. Like maybe, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe this is. It's it's gonna be. It this is a rough one. This is gonna be really hard because I mean, Odyssey and Air's fighting in that fifth spot. Odyssey actually fighting to go up. So like we know between Odyssey and Air and probably Ray, they're playing heavy minutes. Right, like heavy minutes. Tosh. Yeah. Tiffany and honestly, Lexi are playing heavy minutes. Right. Um, KB, Kelsey, Emily, heavy minutes. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Alicia, heavy minutes. Lexi, right. I don't know. I don't know. This, this, this is rough. This is going to be yeah. a really fun week. So you've been here week. Well, it's usually week five for y'all, but week four mm -hmm. coming down to the wire. Our leaderboard right now, Alicia Gray is at the top with five. 1,667 points. And the next closest is Odyssey Sims with 4,812. Then we have Natasha with 4,581. And KB coming in at 4,019. Mm -hmm. Is Alicia untouchable at this point? Or do you think someone could catch her? Um, I do think she's untouchable. Um, this reminds me of first season when Tiana had that crazy week, like maybe like week three or four, and she like went off, like just separated herself from the pack, had like a 40 point game, 35. And we were like, oh yeah, no one's stopping, no one's coming close to her. So it's really reminded me of Tiana back mm. in first season AU, where it's like she would have to go 0 and 3, and yeah. not just 0 and 3, she would have to stink it up. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Alicia went one and two last week, right. and she's still on top. Right. So to think you can go one and two and still be leading by, you know, this many points, I don't, I don't see anyone touching Lisa. Like I said, unless she has an awful week and she goes zero and three. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> Agreed. I, yeah. I agree. I agree. So you spoke to two years ago when this happened. What's the mindset going into this week then, for everyone? It's, for everyone, like it's really about at this point defending your position. Like it really is honestly about securing that leaderboard because we know that that that's, that's the payout. That that's that's where we're making our our money at. So it's like I said, one you want to elevate your captain because they're us in the top four. So it's like okay, what can we do to put you in the best situation to stay top four? Mm -hmm. Like 
And that's why I love AU because it's, it really is a team game. Like, yeah, I'm going to move up, but I want my captain to stay top four. Like, get your money. We can all get our money. So it's <laughs> right, really right, right. Seriously. So it's really about, one, making sure, like, you're helping to elevate your captain and then being smart. Like, uh, trust me, I look at the – I was looking at that leaderboard. You know what I mean? The la- last year – listen up, please. Last year, I was, like, top 20. Yeah. Crazy to think about. It's hilarious, honestly. But it's a, it's a team game. I was a great team player. Yep. So – I listen, funny story. They told me like CC, like go in. Like we were we were about to win the game, maybe two, three minutes left. They go, CC, go in the game. I said, I'm not going in. Cause if I miss a shot or do something stupid, I'm dropping down the leaderboard. I'm good right here. I literally, I literally told them I'm not going in. I like where I'm at right now. We're gonna win the game. I'm about to get points. I'll sit right here. <laughs> So this is this is where like strategy comes in now. Yes, this is where AU gets real interesting it's because interesting. that leaderboard. You're right; it's the payout. So this is I'm where not, you're like, did she make that pass and miss that and and not take that layup? Because it's like <laughs> I'm telling you. And then listen, I'm t- I'm not gonna say I did it, but I'm telling you. And then the MVP votes come around. Okay, I'm not saying collusion, but I'm just saying. Sometimes MVP start to get a little shaky last week because you know you don't want people really moving around like that. Oh, <laughs> that's just, so funny! I'm, no, last week gets crazy, it gets fun, but it's it's about protecting your position at this point, and yeah. and, and anything goes, <laughs> anything right. goes. Right, it's for all the marbles. It's 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 a paycheck time. <laughs> Hey, it's listen, listen. We got mouse to feed. It's paycheck time. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. But this is why it's great to have someone like you on because it's an insider. We don't know these things. The people at home don't know these things. <laughs> like, this is so great, Cece. You've been so great to have on here. I'm telling you, I, we got to make something work. We, we yeah, no, work. yeah, we are gonna make something a little. We gonna make something shake next season. I was busy. I was busy this year, but we are gonna make something. You know, we're going to make something <laughs> shake. But yeah, no, the last week is probably one of the most fun weeks, one of the most toughest weeks. I'll say that because your body's done. You're done. Your body's done Um, at this point. But it, it really is. It really brings everyone together. Like the celebration. I mean, the, the defensive player of the year, all those things. It's 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 really a for me. It's a powerful moment when the confetti drops and you're looking around like 40 powerful girls. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. it's, it's it's really fun. That's awesome. Speaking of leaderboard and our top leader right now we have alicia gray in the chat y'all coming on stage really soon we can't wait to talk to her oh uh, listen alicia yeah i got some words for alicia we go i can't wait i can't wait till she pops on that was that was my girl alicia was my girl last year um yeah. i will say before she oh actually she's coming on now <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> Big money leash, big money leash. <laughs> What's up, y'all? How are you? How are you? I'm good. How are y'all? <laughs> We're doing great. We're just talking about how you might have run away with the gold at this point, honestly. Hopefully, one more week. One more week. <sighs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, leash. It's last week. You're at top of the leaderboard. What is your mindset going into these games Wednesday? Going into practices? What are you telling your team? What are you telling yourself? Uh, I mean, it's the last week, so have fun. Most probably win games and, you know, just just enjoy the last game. I mean, it's been a fun three weeks, so no need to change up what I've been doing now. But the biggest thing is just finishing out strong and most importantly, winning quarters, too, and, and winning games. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, Leash, you've, you – obviously, you were great last season. Um, you were – I think we said fourth. Was that is that correct? Yeah. You're fourth last season, and I mean, so you know what it took to kind of be at the top. But what was your even mindset coming in this year? Like you, you've been playing on a different level, Leash. Like I, it's it's crazy, it's crazy, man. What what, what were your thoughts kind of coming into the second season of AU here? No, I just knew the first week was very important for me to to get a good start to be at the top of the leaderboard. I knew if I had a a, a strong first week, then I knew then I knew that then I knew that um that I would be a good candidate for first place on the leaderboard. And it was just following through the rest of the week, just with strong play and continue staying at the top. I mean, yeah, you started off hot because we said you went one and two last week and you're still top one. So like you said, like, to start <laughs> off well, to start off well is really, is really key. I mean, I remember last year, some team went 0 and 3 and it's like, oof. 
You yeah, know. I was on that team. I was oh, on the yes. 0 3 start, yeah. <laughs> That's how I was like, me finishing fourth was a miracle. Last, oh, like, Nas nice did her thing like last year, put me in a great position because I don't know how I did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you and Nas had a great duo last year. <laughs> Lise, who do you think is like your partner in crime this year? Like, Nas was it last year? Who, who do you feed off the most of um, for, for this year? Uh, I mean, to be honest, I really didn't, really didn't have one because each week, I mean, I had a a new team. It was Emily Inksler until mm-hmm. this week. I mean, I came in with a different strategy because, like, for the first three weeks, like nobody was touching E, and it's just like mm-hmm. the final week they want to. I come with a different strategy, and they want to want to take her from me, and it's like people that was available like later, like is going early, and it's just like. Literally, they're all my people. So it was. I don't know. This draft was. You know, I'm I'm happy about this team because it's just like, like I said, I always focus from a defensive mindset, and I just think with my team this week, like we really gonna hone in and just just play well together and just play good good team basketball. That's what I'm most excited about. And then having Lexi Hall, she's a big defensive help for me. So then I don't have to guard and be on the offensive in as well. I mean, I play both sides, but like mm-hmm. Lexi kind of takes takes that toll off me of having to guard like the best defender like every play now, like it's comfortable enough where it's just like, oh, this play you take her, next play I take her or in transition. I mean, you don't have a man in transition. So it's just like who's ever on her side she can take and who's ever on my side I can take. And I just feel just confident in that matchup as well. It's, actually, Tiffany said something similar last week when she picked Lexi, I think, her first round pick. And she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm picking Lexi because now, one, she doesn't have to guard me. And two, like, we need her on that defensive end. So, mm-hmm. Lexi, she was my surprise from last year. I didn't know much about her game. And I was like, oh, like, this is a pro for real. Like, th- she's here. This girl, she balls to the walls all the time. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? She she does. She never gets on a play. So, yeah, Lexi, I think, was a great pick. I mean, I think credit to you because we t- every time I think – you pick a team and then everyone they, basically everyone picks your teammates from you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's credit to you. Like it shows like how well you guys play together. People are like, oh crap, like wait, maybe, maybe she is kind of nice. Like, let me steal her from you. So it it, it is kind of it is kind of <laughs> cool, but, but also sucks when you lose all your team. Yeah. You, know, you, you, you help make them look good throughout the week. Right, right. That's so funny. <laughs> so at least coming down to the wire, but like you said, you want to you want to keep things fun. What has been your best memory of AU so far? Uh, just just getting buckets for real. I mean, I'm just out there just having fun, just playing my game and playing free. I mean, everything that I do, I work on. So it's just nice to see the work that I've been putting in the lab is is coming to show. And it's just like, oh, when you're doing drills, you may not see it. But when you're actually in game situations and have, like, a person in front of you, like, real live action guarding you, I mean, it's just like, dang, like, some stuff, like, I train on it and it's just like, I might as well just try it. And then when it works, it's just like, okay, well, this move works. Like, I'm glad I did did rep this because it's just like a lot of stuff. Like, I joke my trainer all the time. My trainer name is John Holman. I joke him all the time because, like, he'll have me do some stuff. And I'm like, oh, like, I don't want to do, like, like, do I, like, bro, like, come on, like, let's not, like, pump fakes. Like, I hate doing pump fakes in training, but it's just like, I'm pump faking like all the time out here and it's just and I joke him I'm like did you see the pump face so it's just like mm-hmm. it actually helps like I just give him a hard time I mean I still do the stuff but some stuff like I just give him a hard time for all <laughs> funny games but it's just right. like the stuff he has me do like I actually like need it for the game and then when I do it it actually works and I'm like all right, yeah, right. I know what you're talking you about know, you kind know, of you know, end with that one like all right <laughs> <laughs> no 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 we actually looks like we have a chat we have a question yep. here um, from Willie G, he said, "How much has an AU captain all four weeks helped you prepare um, for the second season? You know, with the dream, with the new faces coming to ATL, and just being a leader, you know, of a of a nice young team." Uh, I mean, I'm I'm more of a I'm not a vocal leader. I'm more of a leader by example. And I mean, here I still take the same approach. I mean, some stuff I have to speak up more of because I'm literally the captain of the team. But I mean, I really been the same on me. Like I really haven't switched up a lot. I just I talk a little more, but I'm more of a leader by example. We see you're missing you're number one. So we see you. Right. <laughs> you're a good example. You're a good example. Um, Leash, I have I have a question for you. Um, 
I mean, I'm going to take credit for all your success at AU. Um, <laughs> with me picking you last year on my team, we went to no, and I just showed you the way, you know, to be a leader, to, to win, <laughs> to win games. Um, and I actually, that's, that's not a question. I just want to tell you that I'm taking credit for all your success here um, at AU. <laughs> <laughs> but also, but I do have a real question for you, though. Um, I know last year you had a chain and you were talking about possibly upgrading that chain. You know, you, you got some good bonus money last season. Have you upgraded your chain yet or got a new one um, as of yet? I did get a new chain and I got a new uh, bracelet, too. Whoa, so I did whoa. upgrade. I did upgrade. Okay. <laughs> I don't got it on today, I, but, you know, I say for special occasions. But special I did occasions. get a new chain and I got I a new it new uh bracelet as well a new little wristlet okay and yeah. is there anything that's on the pipeline for after you hopefully knock on wood if you do win is there anything that you're looking to get for yourself a nice little treat you know after this season um before the wc uh i don't know you know i'm in i'm into the, the business world now so mm -hmm. I, I spend my money in a, in a smart way i'm more into investing now so who knows this may give me Give me to push forward to expand, expand to another restaurant. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Show out <laughs> WNB Factory, guys. Go visit. Go get you some yes. chicken. <laughs> yes, visit. I love that. I love that. I'll, I'll tell you my Venmo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I showed please, you the ropes. Come on. Appreciate you for coming on here. Um, it's been really a pleasure for everyone to keep watching you get buckets. Um, and we can't wait to see what you do to finish out this week. Maybe some confetti will be the one falling on your head. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Thank you all. <laughs> good luck, good luck. All right, y'all. So that wraps up the draft. We appreciate Leash for coming on here, talking to us for a little bit. CeCe Andrews, we so appreciate you coming on here. You are you. the light of AU and... <laughs> We are really looking forward to hopefully seeing you soon. Check out AU. We should be on the WNB app, ESPN Plus, Valley Sports, um, a whole bunch of stuff this week. It's the last week, best week, and we'll see you guys real, real soon. Yes, see you guys.